Hey, Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Shipyard Brewing Company in Maine. However, it's not called Shipyard. It's actually called Tremont. Tremont Patriot Pale Ale. It's brewed by Shipyard for the Hannaford grocery store shopping chain, which has grocery stores around Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont and uh, Massachusetts and not sure if they reach as far south as Rhode Island or Connecticut, not 100% sure on that. But uh, Hannaford is, um, is, a, is, a, is a grocery store chain that's uh, all over uh, parts of New England. And the uh, Tremont Patriot Pale Ale is only sold at Hannaford stores. And it's brewed by the Shipyard Brewing Company. And I really think this is kind of a knockoff of their, um, uh, their version of the Ringwood Old Thumper. Uh, and I'm going to explain that as I try this beer out. It, it has some similar characteristics, except it's sort of the, uh, uh, the uh, poor man's version of that particular beer. This one um, has a, an expiration date of uh, October 2010. So, here we go. The uh, label on this simply says Tremont. And I know some people outside of New England might say Tremont, but no, if you live in Maine, uh, and it's very important, particularly they, they refer to a particular street there as Tremont Street. I'm going to pour it into my shipyard glass, and, um, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to take the cap off now and see what we get. All right. Okay, not much in the way of smoke, a little bit of carbonation building up inside the glass. Let's give it a pour now and see. Oh, you can see more smoke in the glass, better than I could right in front of my face. Let's give it a pour and see what I'm getting. Semi-aggressive, enough to give just the slightest head and leave a lot of uh, foam inside the glass. But um, head isn't too much here. A little bit of lacing. It's a fizzy kind of head that's diminishing rather quickly. The color of the uh, beer is uh, copper, amber, maybe a bit of orange, uh, fairly good clarity, and it's got uh, some moderate carbonation, just consistently going upward, but not a heavy-duty sort of carbonation. Let's give it a whiff. Yeah, you get a more malty sensation in this than you would otherwise. However, you also get this sort of hint of yeast. And, you know, when I drink the Old Thumper, the Ringwood Old Thumper, there's a, a yeast aroma that's very unique to the Ringwood yeasts. And I almost get a bit of that in this particular glass. I mean, it's not really dominating in any way, but it's just got this kind of yeasty, uh, sweet yeast aroma that's similar to what you get in the Ringwood. I, I can't imagine, you know, it's feasible they're using that as one of their yeasts, but you would think that there'd be a copyright infringement or something to that effect, that they would just uh, brew that exclusively in their uh, old thumper, but there's got that sort of, uh, they have this sort of uh, element of that in the aroma. Give it a taste. The beer is very drinkable, good malty sensation, a nice kind of sweet bitterness going on, and also a bit on the yeasty side. Good clarity though, so you don't really see any yeast buildup, but you got that flavor that, that reminds me a bit of the yeasts. Uh, going on here. But really the malt characteristic is the strongest one in this particular one. Very uh, typical of the uh, craft pale ales that are available. There's a slight dry hoppiness that's um, lingering around the back. So the yeast and the malts come up first and then there's kind of a dry hoppiness that uh, just comes in toward the tail end. Uh, which just adds a kind of nice ending to it. But overall, the beer is pretty drinkable. It's also cheaper uh, than some of the other pails that come with a name brand. It's like any store-bought good. You buy uh, groceries in a store that has the store's name brand on it. I guess the same can be said for beer, except in this case they call Tremont as opposed to Hannaford Beer which I guess makes some sense. They want to give it just that added bit of uh, uh, kind of uh, level of, you know, make it sound like it's not really a Hannaford product. But it is the only place you can buy Tremont beers or the Hannaford store. So 
But it's a drinkable beer. Not a whole lot of lacing here. I mean, it's not a bad beer. It's not one of those beers that you would go out of your way to get. But as a beer, if you're looking for a bit of flavor on a budget, I think it works out pretty good. So thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.